mold, leaky roofs, and overcrowding. Those are just some of the issues Dunwoody parents don't want their kids to see when classes start in three weeks. They say they've been fighting the school district for years about them, but now they're fed up. I have a child at Peachtree. She refuses to use the restroom. I mean, it's just nasty. DeKalb County parents want to see change. About 30 parents and kids came together at Dunwoody High School today, dressed in school colors to demand it. We have to beg, we have to do everything for basic sanitary things for our kids and our teachers. Lauren Fincher Taylor so believes the conditions are getting worse. She sent me these photos of a crumbling ceiling at Montgomery Elementary taken in May and these from just two days ago. Mold on trailers she says are used for art and music classes. At Dunwoody High School, four trailers line the front of the school, one propped on slanted cinder blocks. Despite the work taking place, parents don't believe it will be done in time. We remain in what is truly a facility crisis. We have, as you said, thousands of maintenance order orders that are never handled and it isn't getting any better. As of July, more than 2,200 maintenance work orders are open at DeKalb County Schools. Some date back as far as 2017. The issues are widespread, but most are either carpentry, HVAC, or roof orders. It, it, it's just getting to the point where it's just absolutely ridiculous. DeKalb County Schools say they are working through the open work orders as they come in and have budgeted for more than 30 additional facilities maintenance staff to fix the problems. That would make for 141 facilities maintenance workers and 14 centralized custodians across 137 schools. DeKalb County Commissioner Nancy Jester says the solution is simple, though not immediate. You wouldn't have to see this in any community if you simply redistricted and put every child in an actual building. Well, concerns from parents have grown so much that they started a Facebook group called Educate Dunwoody. And in just one week, more than 900, par oh, more than 900 parents have joined looking for solutions.